Green citations, my name is Trapheb. Welcome to another video on my channel. I would like to start doing movie reviews on YouTube. The first movie I would like to review is the 1961 movie called Bloodlust. We are first introduced to two young couple who are on vacation. As you can see, they are having so much fun. Fishing, shooting, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Of all the girls in the world, I had to get mixed up with the daughter of a judo expert. When they take notice that the captain is not at his absolute best. Don't worry. Just don't worry. Get you all home safe and sound. You can navigate this stuff with one hand. They enjoy their lovely time together. One of them spots an island off to the distance. What is it? Look at that. There's an island way over there that I don't remember seeing before. Well, this is the brightest day we've had in our vacation. Must have been hidden in the mists out there before. Oh, a mysterious hidden island. Let's go ashore. <laughs> what for? Well, maybe we can find some hidden pirate treasure. She be looking for the one piece. Well, what do you say, Johnny? Oh, why not? If the boat's costing us enough, we might as well see everything we can. Hey, Tony, put in here. Ah, uh, you ashore. see, the captain has made the decision to take a nice, quiet little nap. Once they decided the captain was going to be no use to them, they take it upon themselves to bring the ship closer to the island to anchor it down, and then take a boat to the rest of the way. Come back! Come back, you fool! Don't land there! Come back! As they run off to go find the buried treasure, a mysterious person who was in no way 100% not in their line of sight takes the boat and heads back to the ship. They come across some clams and decide to go into the woods to find wood and fall into some holes. That's when we are introduced to three mysterious strangers who help them and takes them back to his house where he explains that he has been living on this island shortly after the war. They ask what he does for fun, or as they call it. Yeah, how do you get any kicks in a place like this? Kicks? Oh, I've found diversions. I've developed a kind of passion for hunting. We are then introduced to Dean, who is... I see that you're not uh, feeling well again this evening. That's right. And heads back to bed. The two couples try to leave, but their host insists that they must stay due to the island not being safe at night. It's anchored off the island. I'm afraid that's quite out of the question. You'd never make it through this animal-infested jungle tonight. The host leaves them for a short while, and in his absence, they fear the captain, Tony, might take off without them once he wakes up and sees that they are gone. However, to their surprise... Well, that will be stuck here for days. Don't worry about that. Tony won't be going anywhere without us. What do you mean? I mean, I made sure that before we left the boat by taking the rotor. He won't be able to start the engines without it. Oh, Pete, you're wonderful. Well, that takes care of the boat. Those returns with his wife and introduces them. May I present my wife? Kendra, Betty, Jeannie, Johnny, and Pete. I was sure that you would want to make them welcome to our island. Naturally. They try to make one last attempt to let the host know that they don't think staying would be a good idea. He will take you to it. Well, I don't think we are. Good ought. night. But fail. Shortly after, we see that the wife of the host is having an affair with Dean, who has been faking being drunk. They reveal that they want to escape and that the arrival of the new guests just might be the key they need when suddenly they are found out. The host reveals... I hope you also realize that the presence of those four young people here changes nothing as far as we are concerned. I have taken care of everything. Back over to the new arrivals, they have decided to do the one smart thing that they can think of. Search the place and split up. Because as you know, splitting up has always worked out in scary movies. Make a sound. I promise to 
to release you, but only if you swear not to cry out. If you ever want someone to not freak out, just grab their face. It works like a charm, I promise. They go back to their room and explain that the host hunts people on this island and turns them into taxidermy. Back over to the other two who have found themselves wandering around in a cave filled with spooky, scary skeletons. Get to experience the misfortune of watching someone get turned into a human taxidermy. Upon their return, they cook up a plan to sneak aboard the ship and get away from the island. Dean and his beloved sneak out in the dead of the night to get aboard. Unfortunately, they truly cannot get away from that guy. Upon discovering the hidden door, they decide to go investigate it. But once inside, they find themselves not alone. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you, but I'm glad to see you. Come in, come in, won't you? They then learn that their hope of getting off the island has just been stuffed. Before he lets them return to their rooms, he shows them one last thing. Oh, yes. There's one thing more I'd like to have you see before you go. You'll notice that this niche has room for three, or even four. It could hold up to three to four people. I don't know, maybe two female, two men, who knows? He later gathers everyone to explain the rules of the so-called hunt. When they bring in the captain and it's revealed that he has been bringing people to the island for him to hunt, however, the new arrivals were not a part of the plan. He should be here at this time because He's going to take part in the game, too. No, no, please, don't send me out there with them. Tony, you've outlived your usefulness to me. I paid you well to provide me with subjects in the past. I warned you not to use your boat for other purposes. But since you've been so foolish as to allow these young people to find their way here without my knowledge, I think it only right that you should share their fate. He reveals that he wants to only hunt the men. He will only be armed with three arrows, one for each of them, and arms them with one gun. He tells them that there is a tree in the center of the island that has ammunition for them to use. However, once they get there, they find that the giving tree has only one bullet, and also the gun has no firing pin. The captain tries to beg for his life and is met with... Oh, okay. I changed my mind. You can go back to the house. Oh, wait a second. I changed my mind again. I'm sure I heard a scream. I can't tell. I think it might just have been a jungle bird. Yeah, you know, those jungle birds and their human screams. The two women escape the house to join the other two by tricking the guards that they are doing arts and crafts and then climbing out the window. Back to our brave and very lost heroes, they accidentally find another human person who has lost their mind. At the moment, one of them decides it would be fun to swim in quicksand. It's quicksand. However, they're not the only ones who thought it'd be fun to take a dip. The host leaves his companion in the quicksand and returns to the hunt. Oh, I'm sorry, Shandor. I won't be able to stay to enjoy your last moments, but I am urgently required elsewhere. As the women try to reunite with the other two men, they encounter the same deranged person whose yells bring both the two men and their hunter to their location. The crazed man tries to play a fun game of tag, but was rejected. They quickly cook up a plan to return to the house and search for weapons. They sneak past the guards and find the guns have no ammunition. There's no ammo here. Well, there's gotta be. These guns are useless to us without it. The host becomes tired of the hunt and returns to the house for a short rest, only to find that the guards are taking a little nap on the ground after getting their necks adjusted. He tracks their whereabouts into his trophy room and confronts them about the guard out front. But since they obviously helped you kill the guard, I'm afraid I can no longer trust them. Guard? Oh, we didn't kill any guard. What? 
only to realize that it wasn't them that did the deed, but the man he left in the quicksand, who makes quick work of the host. The movie was surprisingly pretty good. It wasn't scary to today's standards, but it actually was intriguing. A really interesting concept, actually. I would give this movie a solid 7 out of 10. The acting was phenomenal. The scenes were great. There were a couple of times where the movie started to get a little corny, but other than that, it was pretty good. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you watched, please hit the like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe and then click on the bell to receive more notifications when I make newer videos. And I'll see all of you next time.